As the sun was setting on a cooler than usual March day, Papa Brennan and Puppy Virgil were doing some last minute tidying up as they awaited their guests who would help them celebrate the life of their beloved sister, Teddy. Papa Brennan shouted, come into the kitchen, Virgil. It's almost time to welcome our guests for the potluck dinner. Virgil whined, why do strangers have to come to our house? Papa Brennan explained that Teddy always welcomed all beings, not just corgis, around her table. Virgil, dear, Teddy lived and died within a two mile radius of our home, but in between for her was the world. Plus, our guests will be bringing some of her favorite dishes. Dini the Yama will be bringing ceviche. Bobo the turtle has prepared savory soup. Muni the monkey will bring couscous, a culinary delight. Juanito el lorito will bring corn nuts, your favorite. And cousins Riley, Finnegan, and Murphy will bring some treats too. Look, here they come now. Teddy sure had a lot of friends, Virgil muttered with great admiration as he ran down to greet their guests. Welcome everyone. Bienvenidos a todos, shouted Brennan. Thank you for helping us celebrate Teddy. De nada, exclaimed Dinny and Juanito. Teddy was a special friend. Let's now sit together to remember her over a lovely meal. Teddy is smiling on all of you, dear friends, said Brennan. Before we enjoy this scrumptious feast, I'd like to ask Virgil to read a poem that Teddy left for us. Virgil nodded with a shy smile. He knew from the very title, Goodbye Winter, Spring is Here, that he was going to like this poem. For every year, he and Teddy relished the arrival of spring. As was customary in Corgiville, all snuggled around the hearth and Virgil began. The beautiful birds singing on a bright sunny day, I've always wished I could do that in some special way. The flowers are blooming in the green green grass, the ice has melted, which was once a sheet of glass. Winter, we are all glad that you have passed. Spring, please, forever last. And with their glasses raised, Brennan looked to the sky and gently affirmed, love and God bless always, Teddy. 